and girls, welcome, welcome, one and all, to Professor Teggy's Circus Cabaret. Thank you. We have a great show in store for you this evening. We hope you will enjoy watching it as much as we enjoy presenting it to you. We're going to be getting started in just a minute or two, but before we do, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the all new and improved, brand new, first time ever making its debut this evening. Clown Around Bar, that's right. You've read about it on the, in the papers. You've seen, about, you've seen it in TV. Our lovely showgirl is gonna wander around shaking her assets throughout the crowd, proudly displaying these delicious new confectionery items manufactured right here in Baraboo, Wisconsin by the one and only Baraboo, shake it, don't break it, by the one and only Baraboo Candy Company. Now listen to this. What you are going to receive when you get one of these delicious candy bars is 2.4 ounces of pure gourmet milk chocolate made from an old secret family recipe discovered in the floorboards of the Al Ringling Mansion two summers ago. Absolutely. Go ahead, sue me. See what I care. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, these are the only candy bars you are going to find at this show. I tell you what, they're not available anywhere else. The only way you're going to find them is right here this evening. And if you would like to have one, or three, or a dozen, all you have to do is raise your, show, show the folks in the audience these candy bars. Let them, you took a shower this morning. You smell good. Let them hear you. Let them see you, okay? Now, pay, gentlemen, pay attention to the candy bars only, all right? <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special deal for you this evening. When you get your candy bar, you need to open it up right away and look on the underside of the wrapper under one of the clown's pictures. If your candy wrapper has a red star, that means you're a winner. That's right. And you know what you're going to win? I'm glad you asked. You're going to win one of our beautiful, almost indestructible circus balloons. Here they are. Virtually every color of the rainbow represented, providing the rainbow is red. Yes, and I know we've spared no expense. Now, here's how this works. If you would like a candy bar, all you have to do is Come on up and see me. The price of the candy bar is just $3 each. We have a special this evening, this evening, only two for six. <laughs> so if you would like a candy bar, we're going to take a few minutes before the big show starts to make these available to you. And this is going to help pay for all of my sins, so dig deep, folks. They're three bucks a pop. Come on up. We got a few minutes before the big show gets underway. The official clown around bars on sale here and now. Don't be bashful. Don't be shy. Come on up and save enough money for the auction tomorrow, all right? Here we go. How many dozen would you like? I show oh, three, all right? We need to get you a little change here. Here we go. Hold on. Don't go too far. All righty. When we sell $50 worth, we can fill the gas tank, get out of town. All righty. Oh, yes, ma'am. Here we go. Two for you. There's one. Hang on just a second. And don't forget, when you get your candy bars, you need to open them up and look for the clown's picture. There you are. Thank you so much. And one for you. Thank you, kind sir. You want her? He wants yours. See? I like that. Which color would you like, ma'am? Green, all right. A beautiful shade of emerald for you right there. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our good friends at the Baraboo Candy Company, we want to thank you all very much for participating in our sales campaign. Bet you my name in Sheboygan. It's the greatest little town that I know. 
I know a gal there that you just adore. She was Miss Sheboygan, 1900. Bet you my name in Sheboygan. And if you ever get in a jam, mention my name. I said, mention my name. But please don't tell them where I am. Ah, right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, one and all, to Professor Teggy's Circus Cabaret. We're going to have a great time tonight. And right, hey, young lady, Hi, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. where are you going? Huh? Oh, me? Yeah, you. I'm going to Paducah. Paducah? Wait a minute. Did you say Paducah? No, isn't that what it says here? Well, let me check your schedule. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Bet you my name at Paducah. It's the greatest little town that I know. Say, hey, oh, I know the big shots at Old City Hall. They even got my picture on the post office wall. Bet you my name in Paducah. And if you ever get in a jam, mention my name. I said, mention my name. But don't you tell them where I am. Paducah, yeah. I love the place. Wait, wait a minute, what? wait a minute, wait a minute. They're crazy about you in Sheboygan. They're crazy about me in Sheboygan. They're wild about you in Paducah. Mad about me in Paducah. Mad, mind you. I'm Hang on, because i got to figure out where I'm going, but it's not going to be Sheboygan or Paducah. Well, what do you mean? I'm going to go to Elmira. Elmira? Did you say Elmira? Elmira? Yes. I know a place there that you'll just adore. <laughs> they even have the pictures back from 1904. Mention my name in Elmira. And if you ever end up in jail, <laughs> mention my name. I said, mention my name. But please don't come for me for bail. <laughs> yeah. I second thought, but, I think I'm going to stay in Barrow. Up to you. Trying to help. How many of you remember the old Ed Sullivan show? You're too young to remember the Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> well, you know what? We used to watch the Ed Sullivan show at my house every Sunday night. And there were always variety acts of all types. Dancing dogs, contortionists, you name it. And of course, one of my favorites was this guy that would show up every couple of months. The plate spinner. What we're gonna try and do is get about a dozen of these things spinning quickly right before your very eyes. Now I need your help. If it looks like one of these is gonna start to wobble, let me know. That's number one down there. This is number 12 here, all righty? All right. I know what you're thinking. How does he do it? Why does he bother? He has a ball. That's one. All right.
let's do the dishes. Listen to that applause. Thank you. Well, I think you're all warmed up, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you a young man that you're going to be reading about in all the papers one of these days because he smokes in bed. Put your hands together and say hello to my good friend, Dean Kelly. Well, tonight, for you this evening, I am going to be performing an amazing feat of escape. Ooh, ah, yeah. Now, as so tonight, I'm going to be a magician, and I don't have my assistant. So it's always exciting whenever I pick anybody for something, you know, for anything that I do, that they always smile, and they always are like, yes, absolutely, I will come up and help you. They always are so wonderful, and they always say yes. So would you like to come up and help me? Yes! yes! It worked. Excellent. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Okay, now, we don't all know you, so tell everyone your name, please. Tammy. Everyone say, hello, Tammy. Hello, Tammy. All right, Tammy, you are going to be my assistant. I can't believe she said yes. Yes, excellent. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is great. Now, Tammy. I want you to look at these. That's right. We're going to be escaping from these shackles. Everybody go, ooh. Everybody go, ah. Everybody go, ooh. Everybody go, ah. Everybody go, ooh. Everybody go, ah. Okay, we'll keep going. All right, Tammy, go ahead and check on those right there. Make sure that they are solid. They can't come apart. Those are real chains. That's real metal, aluminum, whatever. It's legit. <laughs> yes, excellent. Nicely done. All right, now we also have a couple of regulation padlocks. Ooh. So go ahead and check those out right there. Make sure those are real. These are the keys. You can lock them, try them, everything. She trusts me. Yes. <laughs> wow, this is great. This is going better than I thought it would. All right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So what we're going to do is you are going to lock my wrists into the chains. Oh, no, don't worry. She's like, oh, gosh, she's going to put me in it. No, 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 no. That's yeah, that's very good. Okay, so I will give you the first lock right here. All right. Just tighten that up right there. How would you like that? Just as tight as you can get it. There you go. Yeah, just lock that up right. Oh, you've done this before. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Have you seen what I drove in with? <laughs> oh, nicely done. Yeah, let's go for the second one right here. Do, 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 do. Ow, ow, ow. You're good, you're good. Let's hear it for her. Wow, those are tight. As you can see, my fingertips are getting purple. Good job. All right, now, here's the fun part. Come on over. Come right on over here. You can stand right there. Perfect. Yep, right there on the trap door. Yeah, perfect, excellent, excellent, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna move this right over here. Now, now the magic begins. All right, we're going to take the keys and leave them right here. But here, Tammy, you have a job. You get to handle the miraculous, marvelous magic bag, otherwise known as a modified pillowcase. Yeah. I know, spare no expense. All right, so if you could please hold that for me, excellent. Yeah, just hold it open just like that. Here's where the fun begins. You have to just hold that straight up there. Yeah, just hold that up. There we go, excellent, excellent. You're doing a great job. Isn't she? Wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, no, hold on to that, please. Just keep holding on to that. Don't move. Hold on. I am so sorry, folks. Yeah, I'm always like, turn your phone off. All right, now hold that, hold that other side, please. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we're going to try this again. My phone's in my pocket. We are good to go. It's not, yeah, just hold on to that right there. Isn't she doing a great job? Yeah, you're doing wonderful. So hold your hands up just a little bit right there. So we're going to go right in. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Thank you guys so much. Stay right there. Hold on to that right there. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh, no. All right. All right. Really sorry, folks. I'm really sorry about that. That happens every time. You know, I don't get calls all week while I'm here, and then I get phone calls right when I'm working. <sighs> okay, we'll try this one more time. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello? No, I don't want to extend my car warranty. <laughs> oh, telemarketers, right? Oh, oh and then, ooh, I got out. So I guess I go, ta-da. Let's see here. Oh, yep. Everything's locked up, still locked tight. Is that still locked? Yes, excellent, it worked! Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big round of applause for my volunteer. Take a bow, come on, we're gonna take a bow together. Oh, oh she's like, mm. here we go, one, two, three, bow! Excellent, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, you are absolutely awesome. Enjoy the rest of your evening, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice round of applause for Mr. Dean Kelly. Oh, thank you, Dean. Give him a nice hand. All right. Hey, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, when I was just a little kid, my dad used to have a theatrical booking agent's license in the city of Chicago. And when our little circus was not traveling during the summer months, he placed variety acts of all types into nightclubs, theaters, conventions, things like that. One of the acts I remember very fondly was a guy by the name of Jay Marshall, who was a great magician. And this is the first magic trick Jay Marshall ever showed me. It's kind of a simple little thing that involves one, two, three pieces of ordinary rope. Now to prove to you that these are ordinary ropes, I want you to examine them. So I'm going to toss this one right out there. There's one. I'll toss this one right over here. Okay. And uh, how about you take a look at number three. If you have a piece of rope, I want you to hold it high over your head and tug on it as hard as you can to prove that all three ropes are solid. There are no splits, breaks, cracks, trap doors, or hidden compartments. Ordinary pieces of rope, the only thing you're going to notice is that the ends of each rope have been stitched and melted together to keep them from fraying, okay? Other than that, ordinary ropes, give them one more good hard tug, if you will. All right, and now I'll collect the ropes from you. There's rope number one, rope number two, and rope number three. All right, can everybody see and agree that we have three pieces of ordinary rope? Say yes, it helps the show. Good, all right. Well then you can all very plainly see that all three pieces of rope are identically the same length, correct? They're the same length, correct? You can stay, the rest of you out. <laughs> well, here, I'll prove it to you. We're going to hold the ropes between my thumb and my finger like that. And we're going to begin by taking the bottom of rope number one, bringing it right up to the top like so. We're going to take the bottom of rope number two, do the very same thing, square it off like that. And finally, the bottom of rope number three comes right up like that. When I hold the ropes between my thumb and my forefinger, as I am doing now, you can all very plainly see that the tops and the bottoms of all three ropes match perfectly. Correct? Very well. Thereby proving the fact that all three pieces of rope have to be the same length. Correct? Start the car, we're in trouble. <laughs> all right, I'll do it this way. 
I'm going to square up the tops just like that. In my other hand, I'm going to take the bottoms of ropes one, two, and three and square them off like that. And now, if you watch closely, right between your very eyes, as this young lady blows on the ropes, oh, yeah, don't spit on them, blow on them, okay? There you go. Blow on the ropes, okay? Watch closely as all three ropes are mystically, magically transformed into identically the same lengths exactly as I told you they would be. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's a neat little trick, isn't it? I remember it from all those years ago. I was just seven years old when I learned it. But you know, the magician that taught me this trick warned me about one thing. He told me that if you don't believe in the powers of magic, you will always only ever have a long piece, a medium-sized piece, and a short piece, and the trick will not work. <laughs> so there you have it. <laughs> So for the youngsters in the audience, when you go home, take the shoelaces out of dad's shoes. Cut them into three pieces, hold them right out in front of you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Take them out of mom's shoes instead, all right? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one of the things we want to do with our show as we travel from coast to coast is bring back the days of vaudeville. Vaudeville in the old days was one of the most popular forms of live entertainment, just like the circus. In fact, a lot of the circus acts would perform on the vaudeville stage during the winter months when the traveling shows were not on the road. And in those shows between the great magicians who worked in vaudeville, people like Blackstone, Houdini, Keller, there were variety acts of all types. Jugglers, tap dancers, aerial acts, you name it. So tonight we're going to turn back the clock about 75 years to the golden age of vaudeville and bring out to you a young lady who is one of the finest variety acts in the show world today. She is an antipodist, but rather than tell you what that is, we'll just let her show you. Give a big round of applause for Miss Barbara Van. <laughs> Thank you. 
gentlemen, the incomparable Miss Barbara Van. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, antipodist extraordinaire, Miss Barbara Van. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you very, very much. You can try that at home at the coffee table tonight, all right? I'm going to set this right over here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on. Let me just clear a little furniture here, and then we'll be all set. Our next performer comes to us all the way. For, wait, what's all that noise going on back here? Hello? Hello? Oh, wait a second. What are you doing back here? Well, I'm just, I'm just waiting. You're waiting. Yeah, I'm just waiting here. In the dark. You're waiting in the dark. Yeah, well, that's right. All right. How does she do that? How does she do what? Well, you know, that, that foot juggling stuff. Oh, well, she's a trained professional. Hang on just a second here. We're going to... Uh going to take care of something. Okay. Well, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's she doing after the show? Well, <laughs> none of your business. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, she was terrific. She was great. Good. Uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. What's that? What are you doing backstage? Well, I'm here for the audition. You're here for the audition? Yeah, that's right. What audition is that? Well, the magician's assistant. For magician's assistant, I already have a couple of assistants. Yeah, well, where are they? Well, it's not their turn to work yet, but I have two very attractive assistants that are going to help me out. Well, I'm all dressed up for the occasion. I have to say you are. You look pretty good. Well, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Do you have any experience with magic? Well, sure, I was a magician's assistant for years on a cruise ship. Oh, is that so? That's right. Well, who is the magician you worked with? The Great Langdini. The Great Langdini. Yeah, that's right. I have to say, I never heard of him. Well, it's okay. He never heard of you either. Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, why aren't you working with the Great Langdini any longer? Oh, he retired after the shipwreck. You, whoa, 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 whoa. After the shipwreck? Oh, it was horrible. We were sailing through icy waters. Yeah. Just like the Titanic. Hit an iceberg. Wham! The ship sank. The ship sank. That's right. Well, that's terrible. What happened to the passengers and all the crew? Oh, everyone was okay. But a few of us were lost at sea for days and days, floating around on a raft. Is that so? Yeah, that's right. Langdini floating around on a raft, just him and Rusty. Rusty, Rusty. Okay, I'll bite. Who was Rusty? Well, that was the captain's parrot. The captain had a parrot named Rusty? Yeah, yeah. Real wise guy, too. Well, how so? Well, every night in the showroom, just as we were getting ready to finish the big tricks, that crazy dude would squawk us and give the secret away. Well, what do you mean? Well, he'd say things like, the rabbit's in the hat, the rabbit's in the hat. <laughs> he'd say things like, the doves are up the sleeve, the doves are up the sleeve. Really? Yeah. Did you ever correct him of that? Never did, never did. Well, Look at it this way. At least Wangdini had somebody to talk to while he was floating around on that raft. Oh, no, no, no. Rusty didn't say a word for three days straight. Okay, now wait just a second. You expect all of these intelligent people here this evening? Which ones are those? No, stop that. You expect all of these people to believe that a chatterbox bird like that suddenly didn't say anything? Not for three days. And then on the fourth day, yeah, he looked Langdini straight in the eye. Yeah. And he said, I give up. What'd you do with the ship? <sighs> I walked right into that one. You sure did, you big dummy. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, you want to be a magician's assistant? Yeah, I got all the qualifications. Well, it just so happens I was going to try out a brand new trick this evening, and I could use a magician's assistant because the prop's a little small. Well, I, I'll let me try it. What do you think? Should we let him try it? Yeah. All right, all right. Where is it? Well, it's right here. Wait, that's it? Yeah, it's full of holes. Yeah, well, the holes are there for a reason. Well, tell me. Well, I'll show you, okay? First, what we need to do is we need to show the audience that it's just a, an empty box. Yeah, that's full of holes. Yes, it's full of holes. Now, here's what we need to do. We need to place our assistant. I guess that would be you. That would be me. 
We need to place the assistant into the box, okay? I'm going to help you out because it's kind of a tight fit. I don't want you to bang your head. Well, that's nice of you. All right. So pardon my back for just a second. Pardon the front while you're at it. No, stop that. I'm going to put you inside here, okay? There we go. All right. There we go. You can just red, le rest upon that little ledge there. Yeah. The kid backstage doesn't like it at all already. See? No, it's quiet. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> he knows something I don't know. I just, just stop that, okay? Quiet back there. No, sh stop that, will you? All right. No, just kidding. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, you were so concerned about the holes. Yeah, what are they for? Well, you see, what we now have are these razor sharp steel spikes. Yo, I don't like where this is going. No, settle down. This is not going to hurt me at all. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. What we're going to do is one at a time, one at a time, place these razor sharp steel spikes through these holes, piercing your body. And then say what? I said, I heard what you said. I just remember, I'm late for another appointment. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. It's going to be fine. You know, that, uh, I've heard that before. No, no, no. Listen. You just relax. We're going to start. I'm going to put it right through. No! I haven't done anything yet. Well, I'm practicing. Yep. <laughs> Practice on your old time, okay? Spike number one goes right through. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You need to relax a little bit. Oh, you know, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one in the box. Listen, you know what I suggest you do? No, tell me. Here's what you should do. When I get kind of nervous about things, I think about my favorite song, and I, I hum my favorite song. That really calms my nerves. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yesterday. What happened yesterday? No, that's the song, stupid. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, by the Beatles. I know that one. Well, I hope so. The X going to be that much shorter, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, you just, you just hum yesterday, okay? And we'll carry on, all right? You sure this is going to work? Well, we're going to find out. All right. Okay. Oh, yesterday. Wait a minute. Oh. How about a little lower? Oh, yesterday. No, no. <laughs> I don't mean in pitch. I mean, shh, quiet, quiet. Okay. Oh, yesterday. Are you sure this is going to work? Oh, <laughs> settle down. Okay, here we go. Spike number one, we're going to go right down here. Oh, suddenly, I know I'm half the man I used to be. Because this jerk's punching lots of holes through me. <laughs> yesterday, I was a tree. I didn't think they would get that one here. No, they <laughs> he said, you'll never get that in Verva. I never said that. That's what he said. You'll never get it in Verva. How many more of these have to go in here? Just two. Yeah, where do they go? Right through your middle. Yeah! Settle down. You're doing really well. You think so? Yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Well, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I've lived a good long life. You have? Yeah, sure have. Oh, got, uh, all the, notify the next of kin if anything goes wrong. Well, nothing's going to go wrong. Well, you know, wait, wait, the light. The light. <laughs> the light. I see the light. Walk <laughs> towards the light. The light. The light. It's not the lights. Those are the lights from up there reflecting. And besides, it's finished. Oh, it's done. They're all in. Well, it's a pretty good trick. Well, I told you it's a pretty good trick. You know it's an even better trick? Well, it's it. When we take all of these out of here, open the door, and show to everybody that you're perfectly safe. It's the big finish. The big finish. All right, let's do it. All right, we're going to start right here. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> it tickles. Oh, it tickles. Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Number two. How do you do? Number two. All right. Number three. Sounds good to me. Number three. How about number four? Do it some more. Number four. All right, there we go. Number five. Still alive. Number five. Number six. What's next? Lucky seven. Are you feeling lucky? Oh, I'm feeling lucky. All right, good. Put that right down in there. Going to open the door. Let everyone see you're perfectly safe. No Swiss cheese here. And now I'm going to help you out of the box, all right? I'm going to help you so you don't bang your head. Well, you're a pretty nice guy. All right. Pardon my back. Pardon his front. Stop that, will you? All right. Here we go. I'm just going to let you come out of the box. Don't bump your head. And now as you come out of here, all of the applause is for you. Hey!
<laughs> Listen to that. They loved us. They loved us. I think they loved me more. You think so? Yeah. Well, no. Well, do I get the job? Do I get the job? Huh? Huh? Do I get the job? Well, I don't know. I think we need to negotiate a contract, don't you think? We've got to talk terms. Oh, that'll be easy. I'll own $6,000 a week. You want what? Two cars. Girl, two cars and girls. Lots of girls. Forget it. Say good night to these people. Good night, everybody. I think you should reconsider. I think you should go out the way you came in. Yeah, but I'm the star of the show. Star of the show. Out. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand, Seamus. We call him Seamus, because that's pretty much what he does. He shames us. All right. Are you having a good time this evening? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. You're a terrific audience. This next character and I have been friends for a long, long, long time. You saw him earlier today at Circus World Museum. He's come on, spend a little time with us this evening, show you a few new tricks up his sleeves. Put your hands together and say hello to my good friend, Mr. T.J. Howell. There he is. All righty. Hey, guys. Character. Did you hear that? Character. I can't believe it. I think we also need to give a nice round of applause for Barbara Tegg in the back here, because without Barbara, Tim wouldn't be around here as well. So let's give him a nice round of applause. They do a fabulous job. And uh, by as well, everybody have a good time today at Circus World? Nice, nice. Well, we sure did as well. So tonight I like to kind of share with you some different stuff that I normally do on cruise ships that you never see on a circus, by the way. So you'll kind of figure that out here in a minute. So uh, let me get this routine kind of going here. Now, you know, as a kid growing up, I didn't fully understand the art of juggling. Therefore, I began practicing with two balls in one hand until I almost went blind. <laughs> Take your time. Think about these for a bit. You know, my dad always told me, son, you mess around like that, you're going to go blind. And I said, dad, I'm over here. <laughs> good crowd, good crowd. All right, watch closely as I'm now going to attempt to put the third ball into the pattern. Put the third ball into the pattern. Tough crowd, man. Hey, Quick Trip's got plenty of caffeine if you need it. I don't know. <laughs> hey, do you know they say that a really good juggler can juggle these three balls and even look away, can even glance around the room? <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> oh, hey, here's a tough one. Two up in the air, over the top. Let's go back over the top. Let's go underneath the bottom, cross two over the top. Here's a real tough one. Jeez, you're filming this, right, buddy? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know tomorrow, Tim Tech's having this great big uh, poster auction. Got to let you know ahead of time, there's a couple big heavy hitters in the house. So and the heavy hitters, the guy's got a lot of money. So, you know, so buddy right here, watch out, man. If, you know, Chris Berry or Finning kind of raises their hand up, you might as well start the car, boys. They got deep pockets, let me tell you, man. I've been outbid a lot of times by those guys. I'm telling you, here we go. One ball pirouette, one ball pirouette, pirouette. <laughs> Never mind. Two ball pirouette off the floor. Brand new trick. I don't like that trick. Never mind. Ready? One, two, three. Get around. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. Hold on. I don't need your pity. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody forgot to tell me there's all these lights up here. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Ready? Pressure's on. One, two, three. Get around. Give it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Now. Do you know there are literally thousands and thousands of five ball patterns and thousands and thousands of five ball routines? But this is the one that I know. <laughs> yeah, hey, we should have the Petrovs here, boys. Them guys can juggle. I see you guys there, oh yeah, oh yeah. I told Scott, man, I'm not following those guys. Uh -uh. Get ahead of me, okay, one more tough one here, watch this one. Okay, now they're gonna go backstage and say, boy, he can juggle. Give it up for some five ball juggle. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, I got lots of cool stuff, man. We're just getting fired up now. This one here is a little bit strange, but very unusual. Right there. Very good. Okay, hold on, hold on. I just mess with me a lot. Poo, boom, 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 poo. Poo, boom, 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 poo. Right there, right? Poo. 
我我我。That's good. That's real good. Okay, I I did some messing with you. Hold on, hold on. Three, bing, bong, ba. Boop, 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 boop. Three. Check this out. Hi, hi, Tim. Another one. Good job. Okay, okay. Three. Hold on, right, right, right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah, that's good. That's real good. You know this trick is done with airplane glue. Fun stuff I can't get away with anywhere else. <laughs> okay, what should we try? Oh, hey, this is a fun one here. This one here is what it looks like when I ride a motorcycle and juggle at the same time. Once again, ride a motorcycle and juggle at the same time. This is crazy. <laughs> so true, so true. Doing about 55 down the interstate, man. <laughs> Here's a good one. Now, I recently entered a contest. They were looking for the fastest apple-eating juggler in the world. Guess what? I won that contest. I was able to eat and juggle apples faster than anybody. Would you like to see me try it? That ain't going to work. Would you like to see me try it? All right, Jim Elliott. Here we go for you, buddy. The fastest. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whatever you guys do, do not start laughing. You start laughing, I laugh. And if I laugh... Well, shucks, I'm going to be spitting apples all over this place. Front row. Hey, buddy, 3D. Trevor is your name. Okay, glad you get your name tag. Oh, you like it? I'll do it again, my buddy Dieter Tasso. <laughs> You're in a world of trouble. Here we go. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Wow. What? Wait a minute. You didn't think I'd be wasting this, did you? No, -uh. I'm putting it in this Ziploc bag and saving it for later. Nope, I tell you what, I'm a nice guy. Free souvenir. <laughs> okay, 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 here's a good one. Okay, let me get all my goodies out here. Now it's time to really try some danger juggling. Now watch closely as I'm now going to attempt to juggle these three deadly razor sharp machetes of death. Here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to take the first machete, gently balance it on my chin. Take the second machete, throw it high into the air. Take the third machete, throw it high into the air. Then run like hell. <laughs> I did some mess with you. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this now. Nah, nah, nah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll tell you what. I've set up a little demonstration with this here carrot so that I can prove to you that these machetes are razor sharp. Ping, ping, ping. Ping, ping, ping. Ping. Here's what I'm going to try to do again. Okay, watch this now. Watch. Nah, 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 nah. I got to be honest with you. Juggling three machetes, phew, too easy. I'm going to try a blindfolded. Whoo. Wait a minute. Dean just did that joke. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm not a copy. Here we go. Three machetes blindfolded. I hear you back there. Three machetes blindfolded. Check this out. Ready? On your marks. Get set. Ow, 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 ow. Got it. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You guys are gullible, man. I'm not telling you. Are we having a good time so far? I am out of control. But now let's really step it up a notch. Watch this. I'm not going to uh, attempt to juggle just one, not two, but I'm going to attempt to juggle three real bowling balls. Now, the first thing I got to try is to be lightning fast and pick up that one right there. Well, I ain't lightning fast, okay. Oh, shoot, man. I hate when my balls get wet. There goes the family in the show. Okay. Now, you guys all count along to get me started. Only count on three. Ready? One, two, three. Go for it. Yep, you better start applauding. This ain't gonna last much longer. Come on now. I just gotta figure out how to stop. Let's try that one right there. How about that? Crazy. Man. Them are 20 pound bowling balls, man. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This is a neat one here. 
I got to make sure I get all my stuff in. This is a good one. Now, you know, I was so honored back in the 90s, I think. Somebody will correct me on this one. I was honored. Rich Shapiro was a CFA president, and he invited me to be the entertainment for that show. So I had to think about it. What can I do that would be circus related? So I had to think about it, and I did a trick that I've heard a lot of great compliments. So at that time, they had elephants. But they said they can't fit them in here, so I've got the next best thing that maybe we could uh, see if we can do this one here, okay? For you guys who know, oh, wait a minute, that's viola. All right, Don Flint, okay. Like the music, this is real, man. This one's fresh, this is like two days old. That one's about a week, okay. Never done this one, right, Petrov? Huh? No? Yeah? Okay. Okay. What the heck? I'll do it 3D. Look, look, this is real. Check that out. That's 100%. That's alfalfa in there. Alfalfa. All right. I, I never even practiced this trick, man. I was over in the... Never mind. I was... I don't want to tell you how I got these things. I it, it. Give it. Give it up. Yes. Crazy. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There you go. Free souvenir. Here you go. There you go, Jim Elliott. Uh, there you go. There you go. Very cool. Crazy, crazy. Um, one more. One more. Wait. Did okay. you get their candy wrappers first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know. You know. While I'm setting up my really big finale trick, and this is one of them that I really enjoy doing, I've got to acknowledge a young lady that. When I was just a little itty bitty kid back on the Hoxie Brothers Circus, this was before I even performed, I got to know a young lady called Beverly Wazan, and she is right back there. Hi. And I'm telling you, this is going, let's give her a nice thunderstorm applause. <laughs> yes, sir. We go way back. This is so cool. Anybody know the fabulous Wazan family? They are so cool and so nice. But uh, this little contraption here that I came up with is kind of a, a neat invention. This is my ball bouncing piano. Now, what I've kind of learned to do is uh, see if uh, most people out there, I'm sure you could probably uh, play with a piano sort of like this with your fingers. But now let me show you how I've learned to play a piano with my balls. Okay, watch this. You guys love the ball jokes, man. I don't know. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, I haven't done this one since 2019 when I was at the Tommy Bartlett Ski Show. All right, all right, gotta pay attention here. Oh yeah. I just get warmed up. If I remember this, okay, let's see. Okay, okay, I got one more song and then uh, you guys really have a good time here, but uh, this is a really complicated one, so let's see if I can remember this one. Once again, my name is TJ. I hope you enjoyed my little part of the show. Thank you guys for coming out and spending the weekend. We hope you had a good time. Let's give it up one more time for the Tim Tay. Welcome back, Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, TJ Hall. Oh, yeah. Let's Woo! hear it for him, Mr. TJ Hall. Thank you, guys. We'll see you back in the show site. Thank you, man. Woo! Let me get my garbage out of here. All right. What an honor. Thank you, guys. He at least could have bought a prop crew. 
Stay away from the speaker. Oh, let's give it up for the lovely Gail, my prop lady. Give it up, Gail. Good job. Here, I'll get the 90 pound bowling ball. Oh, 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 okay. All right, Tim, the show's yours, buddy. Oh, be careful, don't touch my balls. Show never ends. Dang it. I just hate when I leave my balls laying around. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. Woo, party and bear. Journey with us now into a land of mystery and imagination as we bring you the magic of Timothy Teggy.
A nice set for my lovely assistant, Miss Gail. And for my other lovely assistant, Miss Barbara.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Abby. Give her a nice round of applause. Thank you, Abby. You can go back to your seat. And Abby, I want you to promise me something. You're not going to tell anybody how you did that, all right? Give her a nice hat, ladies and gentlemen. Abby! Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, please join me in welcoming back to our circus ring, the stars who entertained you this evening. Miss Barbara Van. Mr. Dean Kelly. One important thing. Did you enjoy the show? You've been a marvelous audience. We thank you all so much for spending the night with us. I want to leave you with one very important thought. The magic never vanishes if you keep it in your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Cirque Soiree members, God bless you all. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.